In this video, we will be showing you how to install the PCP Tunes custom regulator onto the Ultra Rotrex RM8. We will first be removing the stock. The stock slides out at an angle, that's because of your cylinder which is ahead of the tank. So just lift the stock and slide it backwards. We now have the stock off. As you can see we've already installed the regulator out here, but we're just going to tell you what steps needs to be done in order to complete the installation. Make sure the gun is uncocked and there is no pellet in your bell. The magazine has been removed from the neck. In order to remove the regulator, we will first have to remove the barrel from the action. This is pretty much the same way you do it for the Walther Dominator 1250 when you are installing the PCP Tunes custom regulator which has a larger plenum for more power. So we are going to punch the pin out which holds the baron in place. to wiggle the barrel and pull it out and we see the plastic support is also off we have already done the installation of our regulator and that's the reason why it's loose if you would have to take it off the first time you would need an adjustable spanner and you can hold it right onto the regulator on the body of the regulator and unscrew it anti-clockwise. The way our regulator ships, it has a valve protective cap which guides the valve pin and prevents it from any damages in transit. So this is how you would receive it with the cap on. You need to take the cap off and install the regulator. The next thing you need to make sure is you have degassed the tank. Do not attempt to open up the tank from the regulator without degaussing the tank. This is a very important step and make sure that the tank is completely empty before you try to separate the regulator assembly from the body bottle. It does have a screw at the side and by opening the screw you would be able to release the air from your cylinder. Another way is just to shoot the gun and make sure that uh, you are low on pressure and then you can just unscrew the bleed knob. The bleed knob in this model has an o-ring right under it so if you try to unscrew it under high pressure you're going to see the o-ring pop up so we recommend that you try to bleed the valve when there is less pressure in the tank that way you wouldn't rupture the o-ring on the bleed knob we are not opening it now because we have the tank to zero as you can see on the gauge it is at zero pressure 
the next thing we need to do is take the body bottle off which can be just done by unscrewing it the body bottle has an o-ring at the collar make sure there is no damage to the o-ring and do apply some silicon grease when you put the cylinder back onto the rig as it would help increase the life of the o-rings now once you've separated the body bottle from your regulator valve and assembly this is what it looks like so we are going to show you how to uninstall our regulator which would be the same process when you're trying to remove the factory regulator from the tank it's going to be the same process you can use an allen key to remove the regulator from the fill assembly which also holds the gauge and shows you the pressure just unscrew the two screws which go right through the block there would be two holes these are the two holes where you would be inserting the allen key to remove or loosen the screws and the way it should be done you can just back it out five turns and go on to the next one and keep alternating it in the same manner till you have the assembly of the regulator you have the fill assembly separated from the main regulator by loosening those two screws those are the same screws you would be reusing for the installation onto our custom PCP tunes regulator it ships as a whole unit so there is no pre-assembly involved all you got to do is remove the factory regulator from your fill assembly and if I were to put it back in place this is how it would look so this is how your factory regulator was this is how the factory regulator was all you did was remove the two allen screws and the access to those screws are from these two holes on the face of the fill assembly Now we are ready to start the installation. You just got to slide the fill assembly block into our regulator assembly. And we also recommend you apply some silicon grease on the o ring, which can be seen at the collar of the fill assembly. Do not make any adjustments to the regulator. The regulator has been preset to 150 bar. The plenum size is, has been increased by 10%, but the regulator pressure has been set to 150 bar. In order to complete the installation, we are going to put the two Allen screws back onto the fill assembly body. You can just slide it from the side into the slot which is cut in the fill assembly and match it with those holes just hold it in place
Now you can tighten the Allen screws the same way you loosen them. We recommend doing it five turns at a time. Keep alternating between both. And you will see the gap closing by. Make sure to tighten it all the way. We shall also apply some silicon grease on the collar o-ring. We will now be attaching the regulator onto the action. After screwing in the regulator, we need to make sure that the fill port holes and the gauge matches the recess in the wooden stock. So we are going to apply some blue Loctite onto the threads and that is uh, blue Loctite 242. They have medium strength and uh, if you ever want to remove the regulator from the action, you wouldn't have to apply too much torque. It would be easy to unscrew the regulator. You don't need to overdo the Loctite just make sure you have three to four drops and you have evenly let them ooze onto the threads of the regulator we shall now screw the tank in As you can see the gauge is pointing sideways and it would not line up with the recess in the stock. In order to make sure it does, I'm just going to loosen this. I'm going to loosen the regulator. and it is in line with my trigger unless it is in line with the trigger it's not going to match with the recess in the wooden stock and to make sure I'm going to attach the stock onto the action and check remove the pin we had left 3 4 way which holds the barrel in place and make sure that everything lines up. As you can see, after backing the regulator half a turn, the holes line up. Now that we are sure that the gauge is lined up with the trigger, we can complete the installation.
make sure to put the plastic sleeve back in place which guides the barrel check the recess in the barrel it should be pointing downwards and simply push the barrel in you can also line up the recess after you have the barrel in by looking through the hole on the side from where you punch the pin out and once you're sure the holes are lined up you need to put the pin back Make sure the pin is not protruding out from the other side. Now we'll put the action back into the stock. and tighten the two screws which hold the action and wooden stock in place. If you had opened the bleed valve on the fill block, make sure you have closed it else it would leak air from there when you try filling your tank. That's it folks, we are done with the installation and uh, that's the factory regulator with the collar and we just installed the PCP Tunes custom regulator which is set at 150 bar. Thank you very much for watching.